and the rain isn't just causing problems for the rivers. Justin McDuffie shows us how roads on Monroe County are taking a beating. Barry loves playing with his kids after school, but for the last few days it's been tough because of the rain. Well, just, just ready for the wetness to be over with, really. But besides being annoying, the rain's causing some problems on a few roads. Edwards Road down to the right, it's just completely washed out, gone. And the excess rain has washed out some roadways here, forcing the county to close them. Saw about three and a half inches of rain in an hour to an hour and a half. The city, the storm system, the storm water system just couldn't handle the inflow. And then obviously our creeks already swollen from previous uh, rains just went over their banks. EMA director Matt Perry says his main concern are low lying areas and for people who live near water. He says the road over the spillway near Lake Juliet is covered by fast moving water. Perry says they expect lots of trees to fall in the next few days, along with other problems on both main roads and back roads. We saw a two foot wall of water moving across uh, I-75 today, which, which really made traffic slow down. So it doesn't matter when you get that much water that fast, the roads and the drainage system and the culverts, they just can't keep up. And with more rain in the forecast, Barry says he's ready for some relief. It plays a toll sometimes, but ready for some sun. In Monroe County, Justin McJuffie, 13 WMAZ News.